Hey everyone, this is Tony Thuja's Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download your entire Google Drive contents, including photos, documents, folders, everything. And we're gonna do this with something called Google Takeout. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Right here, you can see my Google Drive, and it's not too big, honestly. It's only 200 megabytes in size. Um, so in, in, in this type of case, actually what would be the easiest way to download everything would be to just click on this folder and hold the shift key, click on everything in here to download everything, right click, download, and that would zip up everything into an archive and you can download it that way. But for Google Drives that are much larger in size than 200 megabytes, you know, we're talking gigabytes, tens, dozens of gigabytes. Uh, like my personal Google Drive is, uh, I have a t the two terabyte plan and that's like, close to a terabyte of space that I have filled up already. That would be a single one terabyte zip file that you would download through a browser, and that is almost certain to fail because of the internet connection going out or some other issue like that. The best way to approach this is with Google Takeout, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. So um, this is what my Google Drive looks like. We'll keep this open for now, but what we're gonna do is open up a new tab and go to Takeout dot google.com okay this is a google service and pretty much any google service that you use you can export the data associated with that here so just coming through here real quick you can download your google contacts you can download your google drive that's what we'll be doing in this video your google fit data all this other stuff google photos um, but since we're just focused on one of these we're going to deselect all of these checkboxes in only select the checkbox for Google Drive. Now, this multiple formats, we'll go through each one of these. Multiple formats just means that for your documents, if they are in Google format, they will be exported as DOCX for Microsoft Word. For your presentations, they'll be exported as a PowerPoint. Um, spreadsheets, XLSX, if you're familiar with those extensions, that's the Excel, Excel extension. And then any other type of upload that you upload it, it'll be the original format. So um, other than Google type of Google Docs, Google, Google Sheets, Google, uh, what is the other one, Google Slides, everything else will be downloaded in the original format that it was uploaded in. So that's good. That's perfect. And you can obviously switch these to something else if you want to do that. Um, so we'll hit OK with that. And then under Advanced Settings, you can include additional information about pretty much the metadata associated with the files in the folder. So. Um, include named, published, and uploaded versions of the file. So if you uploaded multiple versions, do you wanna do that? What the heck, let's do that. And then include additional info for files and folders. That's like the metadata associated with the folder, the folder names, uh, the, when the folder was created, and stuff like that. So we'll do that as well, optional, but we'll do that in this tutorial. And then it says all drive data is included by default. Um, that, that's good for this case, but if you only wanted a subset of the folders or documents, then you could uh, just pick a couple of these. But we'll, we'll download the entire, whoops, we'll download the entire Google Drive. Actually, I think that's okay to have it like that. Include all files and folders in Drive. So let's click on okay. All the way down here at the bottom, we will click on next step. And this is where uh, I'm talking about with, with larger Google Drives, you might run into the issue, like let's, let, let, for example, let's just say you have 100 gigabytes in your Google Drive. You have the option of, you can only download at most 50 gigabyte archive files. So you would get two 50 gigabyte archive files that you would download individually to access your entire drive and then you combine them uh, and make, um, get the whole contents of your drive that way. Or if for some reason you're timing out on your downloads for the 50 gigabyte files, uh, smaller files might be more suitable, like a four gigabyte file or a two gigabyte file. So in the two gigabyte file case, you would get 50 two gigabyte files that equals 50 times two is 100. You would get 50 two gigabyte files that you would download and then those you would extract um, into your Google Drive content. So that's just the way, the Google solution for working with really large amounts of data. We're just gonna export this once and because I have such a small number of files, I'm gonna pick the two gigabytes and then click on create export. And you will get a email when your data is ready to be exported. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for that to happen. We'll skip forward until I get that information. 
All right, and not that much longer, probably 30 seconds max, we got the email from Google saying that your data is ready to be downloaded for Google Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and download those files. I'll have to reauthenticate here. And that's gonna take us to our Google account where that will automatically start downloading. It's 179 megabytes when it's archived. Um, and this is available for download until July 31st. So that's 24th, uh, less than a week, probably right around a week in time. So this archive includes Google Drive data, um, 179 megabytes in size. And the reason there's a difference between this size 179 and the actual size is because it's compressed into an archive. So we save about 10 megabytes in size. This is almost downloaded at this point, one second left, zero seconds, we got it. So we will drag this onto our desktop and because this is a zip file, we'll have to extract it. Um, so you can double click on a Mac to extract that. Um, so we'll do that, double click, and that creates, if you're on Windows, you have to right click and uh, there will be an option to extract it, I believe. And then this is all your contents of your Google, your Google Drive here. So we'll open that up and we have t a folder and a file. So the the file here is just an HTML file. You can open that in a web browser. This says it's downloaded 26 files and this is the size of those files. Um, and then you can see inside the drive folder, which we'll look at in a second, these are the folders and the files that are in there. Okay, so let's just look at that in the, the finder window here and uh, we'll map this directly with what's up there on Google Drive. So we have this image is 0001.mpg. That's what this looks like over here. here. Um, it's actually a, a video file. And if I wanna play that locally, I can play that locally. That's what that looks like. And that's what that looks like. So there's a direct one-to-one -one relationship. Um, here's my passwords file. I'm not saying this is good practice, but this is what my passwords Excel spreadsheet looks like. And then over here, uh, I've downloaded that into XLSX format, which is for Google, uh, or not Google, which is uh, for um, Microsoft Office Excel. And I have a copy of that offline now. And then what else do I got? I have some folders here, some notes. So I can open that notes here. Here's all of my notes. I got my to-do list and then top level domains, another folder in there. Uh, you see all that information and you'll see that there's, remember I was talking about the metadata, there's also metadata associated with each one of these files. So here's the actual file itself, the CSV file, and then here's the JSON file with the metadata associated with that. So this is just uh, when the file was created, when it was modified, who created it, uh, what kind of permissions it has in the original um, URL to that file. So yeah, you can poke around in here, see all of your information, here's some pictures and everything like that. So um, that's about it. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I have other videos about Google Takeout exports that you can check out here. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.